Grace and peace to you. This is yours truly, Bishop Bowser, coming at you once again. Uh, I just wanted to touch on this uh, Michael Epps and um, Shannon Sharp um, issue, right? You know, uh, Michael Epps, you know, he went on stage and lied and said that um, uh, Shannon had uh, reached out to him to come on the uh, club Shay Shay. And he turned it down. Of course, then he started making all type of um, derogatory jokes about uh, Shannon. And so Shannon didn't have a problem with the jokes. At least that's what he says. Uh, but he said he did have a problem with him lying on him because he never asked him to come on the show. And in fact, Michael Epps said that you know he you know he went in he did you know go in his DMs and wanted to get on the show, right? So he might be mad about that. But here's the thing, you know. Um, Many are saying that Shannon Sharp, you know, was calling him out to a fight. Say, hey, when I see you, it's gonna be on, you know. Um, and 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 it, it seemed like he did allude to that, but but you know, I, I'm not the one to say like I can't tell you what Shannon was thinking in his mind, right? When he said, when I see you, I'm gonna see, you know, if you had that same energy, what you're gonna be all about when you put put everything on the table, right? He could be talking about fighting, but a lot of times you might just want to meet him eye to eye and man to man and, hey, let's deal with this, right? You know, you want to lie, lie to me in my face. Tell me that lie now, right? Um, but, you know, it, it also could have been taken as, you know, he was talking about when I see you, you know, it's going to be on, right? <laughs> you know, he said, if he do that again, he didn't say he's going to do that. He said, you know, the next time, if you do that again, then, you know, it's going to be on, right? He said, I'm not mad because, you know, you called me Medea and, and some um, gay name, derogatory gay names and things like that. He said, but what I am upset about is you lying. And Michael Epps did lie, right? And I, I know he did it for the attention, right? But then I saw a video that Mike West responded and was talking about, you know, he alluded to. And he actually, you know, he didn't say the words, but, you know, he did this and pow pow and all that kind of stuff. Talking about, you know, if uh, Shannon come up on him, he's going to shoot him. And, you know, that's the thing, right? You know, you got a lot of cowards um, in our communities, you know, that, you know, they start a lot of stuff, you know, and then when it comes time to man up, right, and face the music and be held accountable, uh, they want to hide behind a gun, right? And we find the same thing going on in our communities uh, where individuals, they get into it over the, on the internet or at a party or club or whatever, and somebody's got to resort to guns. You know, even back when I used to gangbang, that was the same thing, right? We'd go to parties, we'd go to the park, we'd go to a club, or wherever, and we, we want to knuckle up, and these guys want to pull out guns and stuff on us and so forth. That's what cowards do, right? I talk a lot of smack, lie on you, do all type of things, but when it's time to face the music, you're talking about getting your gun. Uh, it's time to cut that mess out and man up, right? Um, the right thing to do would, would be to repent and say, hey, you know what? Yeah, I lied. I was just telling a joke, man. Don't take it too serious. Um, but yeah, I was lying, man, and so on. And, and if I offended you like that, then forgive me, right? Because if you offended any other group, you most definitely would have been apologizing, right? You, or or asking for forgiveness, saying you're sorry, you didn't mean it, and all that. But look how we treat each other as as black people, right? And hate to see this, you know, men in their fifties uh, acting like children, you know. Um, but you know, it is what it is. You know, you can be rich and popular and still, right? Need to have some anger management and some control of your emotions and so on but also be mature enough right to um deal with situations the right way right um for me you know if a person ever threatened me they're gonna whoop me up i'm like hey bro like you got it i don't want it because uh uh, I'm not, you know, I'm not no fighter, you know, and, and I most definitely don't have no guns, so I ain't going to pull no gun out on you, and I'm not going to fight you, right? I'm going to try to walk away and stay out of the way. If I come somewhere and I see you there and I know you're looking for me, I'm leaving, right? That's me, you know, I'm trying to avoid conflict and de-escalate things. I'm not trying to get, I ain't trying to prove how bad and tough I am and all that kind of stuff. Well, I did, that's teenager stuff. That's young adults, guys in their 20s and maybe going into their 30s. That's the kind of stuff that they should do, but when we get a certain age, we should grow up and be more mature and be like real black men and sit down and talk about our issues and work through them right if we can right I've been called uh, on the carpet I've done a lot of things you know I've been called on the carpet by pastors and people in the community and had sit downs and when it submitted you know whatever it was the issue they had with me I said okay you know how can we work this out and so you know that's what we got to do you know you got to face the music and be held accountable for what you do all right God bless you cowards bring guns to a fist fight God bless you.